Hey, what's up guys, in this video we're going to be showing you how to beat every boss of, of Act 6 starting with chapter 1, so we got the first 6 bosses here so this boss has Oscillate and basically you can't reverse his healing, those are the two only important nodes and then the global node which is uh, wait, what's it called again? wait one second, let me look oh, no retreat, I don't know how I forgot that basically if you swipe back twice and within like one second you see that like uh, thing that came up like that uh, what's it called there's like a thing that comes up on the left side of the screen you'll see it and it basically is like a timer and if you swipe back again in that like one second timer period you get degen so basically you can't swipe back a lot in this fight or you die from the degen so being the god archangel is he turns off this node at three neurotoxins so you can swipe back all you want um and then also it's a saber tooth boss, so he gets all that crazy healing. So the best counter definitely for this fight is um, Archangel. I find him definitely the easiest, and definitely the fastest. So yeah, this is the first boss. Um, pretty much you guys gonna bring a heal block character, and then just play slow. Um, I think maybe some characters count damage him, but not a lot. So I would just advise bringing a heal block character, and then just don't dash back a lot if you don't have Archangel or son. Or use Quake and just parry only, but the damage is high from Oscillate, so yeah. First boss down. Now I got the second boss. This is one of the harder bosses in Act uh, Chapter 1. It's, it is Spry, Backup Recovery, Spite, and EMP Mod. EMP Mod is every time you gain a buff, he has like a charge, and that charge will, um, when he uses a special and special delivery, and when he has a special, uh, if there's a special, however many buffs you have, it'll put that many shocks on you, which you'll see in a second. Uh, look, and three. Okay, so he puts the shock on me. And then also, it's an Ultron, so he evades a crazy. So I found the best character for this is Ghost. I mean, Ghost is so good. Also for special delivery, because she can, with her phasing, build power to get to a special two without having to throw special ones and shit. So that's fun. Um, this fight can be done with Corvus. Um, who else can do it? Anyone who's like shock immune can do this. But you have to watch out for the spite and backup recovery, um, like there. I have ghost with full synergies, because with the hood synergy while you're phasing, you don't take damage. So the shocks don't do anything to me. So, yeah, this is definitely one of the harder bosses out there. Um, it's a lot like, I think it's a lot like one of the variant Ultrons and variant 1. I can't remember which one. But the spite and mixed with the just everything else, it's just not fun. Spite mixed with the electric thing, I forgot what it's called. That's just hardcore as fuck, so. That boss, you just gotta bring a shock me character. This third boss, it has the limber, true strike, and aggression cruelty. And then the global note is long distance relationship. So basically, this is a nothing fight. This is just a big ghost with true strike, so I guess you can't quake it. But you can't really quake ghost in general. So you can pretty much use any character for this fight and just play normally. Um, literally any character will work at all. Um, close and, a long distance relationship is like the more you're close to them, the more weaknesses you get on you and the farther you are away, they start falling off more. So it's just kind of annoying more than anything, but it's like not hard to play on at all. It's probably one of the easiest bosses in, act, in chapter one. Um, probably the easiest if I do, I guess. One of the easiest in all of act six, honestly. So you can really use anyone for this boss. Um, it's just a ghost, easy dodge, specials to dodge, easy way to play around her. So yeah, it's really not that hard. I, in this fight, I'm using Corvus. Um, so yeah, it's easy money. Next fight, we have Loki, who has a, a immune to ability accuracy and dulled limber and unblockable special ones. Dulled is crit chances reduced by 50% for each buff active on you or debuff active on the opponent. So use a character that really doesn't gain a lot of buffs and doesn't place a lot of debuffs. But that's not really what's hard about this fight. The challenging part of this fight is the global close encounters. Um, when you're next to the opponent, you regenerate 1% a second, and 1% of your health per second. And if the far and then when you're not close to them, you're far away, you degenerate 3% per second. So. For this fight, you just have to play, you can really use anyone, honestly, but you just have to make sure you're playing crazy aggressive, and this fight can be annoying if they don't throw their specials and shit, you try to bait them out, and you're just slowly de degenerating, and this note, I don't really like too much, because you normally lose a lot more health than you gain from it, so yeah, but you can really use anyone for this fight, once again, just get to play hella aggressive, 
Um, there's not much to this fight. It's just kind of annoying if um, like they're not throwing their specials and you're far away and you're just degenerating. Um, I found that you can regen more than degen, but you have to play like stupidly aggressive. Like it's very low chance. Most of the time you're gonna be losing more health and gaining. Uh, for this fight, I just bought Doom. I don't really know why. Maybe just for fun to whip out the rank three Doom. Um, so yeah, this fight. Really anyone, um, anyone who can just do big damage and this fight quick, because it is annoying to lose a lot of health for no reason. So yeah, kind of just have to take it up the ass in this one, but it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, I'm about to kill him. So yeah, he's dead. The next boss we got is. Um, the crossbones. See, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna be, if you're not, this is the fight that'll basically stop you from getting cavalier if you don't have the right counters. It has biohazard, so you need a bleed immune character, a minimum vigor. So every, it'll basically just have a crazy amount of regen. So you basically need someone who can out damage the regen and is bleed immune. Um, because from the biohazard, um, biohazard is if you don't know, every time you hit them, you have a chance to get a bleed on you. And every time you hit into their block, you know, there's a chance to get your, a poison on you. So really, you just need a bleed him in character and not hit their block. And he regens um, every, I don't know, every 15 seconds. So he regenerates 25% of his, or 50% of base health. So not that much compared with all the nodes, but it's still enough. That it's hard to out damage for a lot of champions. And it's very limited because you need a bleed him in character. Um, but ever since this fight came out, there's been a lot more bleeding win characters that have been good. Um, like when this fight first came out, it was a very big problem fight. But I think nowadays, you just need a decent bleeding win. Um, I think like Clairvoyant, Colossus, Ghost, uh, who else? Quake, probably? I don't really know. Um, I don't know if Quake will work. I haven't really tried it, but theoretically, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if his ability accuracy will do anything to Quake, though. Um, but I really don't know. Colossus and Ghost, probably the best two options, because Colossus went high sig. Mine's not, like, only sig 20, so it's not that good, but, um, but every time you get a debuff on you that he's immune to, you have a chance to shrug, uh, you have a chance to change it into a armor up, so, on this fight, and Colossus hits hella hard. Look at that. That was a 14k medium, and I don't even have the fury up. So, like, 9k lights. Like, people think Colossus needs his Fury to do big damage. It's more just about his armor ups. If you have, like, 20, 30 armor ups, you don't really need the Fury. But, yeah, this fight also has... I think you only get power when they get a bar of power. Power struggle. So, yeah. Use Colossus, basically. That's pretty much the answer. That fight will definitely stop you from getting Cavalier, though. He's definitely the hardest boss in, Act in Chapter 1. So, now we're at the final boss of X six or chapter one and it is a sentinel a big ass sentinel with like five hundred thousand health and it basically has stun immunity plagued mind so every 20 seconds your power is drained and fist of cuffs for the first 30 seconds which means for the first 30 seconds uh neither of you can gain buffs or debuffs so basically what i did for this fight is just start slow with you know the medusa and then since it's a robot um just shut him down basically also, one thing cool to note is that Medusa, um, she, when she shuts down robots with her armor shatter, which I just placed, it also stops the, the, the global node of, um, not global, the node that um, drains your power, because ability accuracy is turned off, so you, you basically can ignore the power um, drain node. And then if you know to play Medusa well, the stun immune node doesn't matter either, because what you basically do is you put on a shatter, and then you basically go ham. Um... I don't know why it's through a special two there, to be honest. Um, in this fight, you really just supposed to cycle special threes. One node you should keep in mind out for, though, is, um, I forgot what it's called, but basically you can't use the special two times in a row. If you use the same special two times in a row, then you basically die. So, I think that's why I threw the special two, but realistically, you just want to throw special threes and then maybe, like, a special two. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to go for a special three here if I had to guess. Yeah. Um... So yeah, if you know how to Medusa, it's basically just, you're going, why did I throw another special two? Ah, oh, whatever. Basically, if you know how to Medusa, it's just backshaft intercept. That's like all it is. Um, I am a little bit confused though. I think I messed up the rotation here. I recorded this a long time ago and they just been sitting in my files. 
And I think I might get power drain, honestly. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, I really messed up that rotation. But I need to get to another special one to put the armor shatter again. If you get your special three with Medusa, it, re it refreshes your armor shatter. And then you can just backdrop intercept and you can basically cycle special threes. Um, so yeah, but in this fight, I don't think you can really do that because of the you can't use the same special twice node, the global. This fight, I got saved by the auto block. Medusa, god tier utility, um, probably would have died. <laughs> also, just keep in mind, this is before the nerf to Act Six's um, attack. So, um, yeah, he'll be hitting a lot less. Also, in case you didn't notice, he hit me with a heavy attack. And one thing to keep in mind is that if I didn't have the armor shut up to turn off his ability accuracy reduction, it would have put a shock on me and killed me. So, yeah, I messed up twice in this fight. But, you know, Medusa's armor shatter and auto block, just god pieces of utility. So, yeah, he's dead. That is all the chapter one bosses one charted. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like and subscribe. I'll upload chapter two soon. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Peace.